Use our program for us. Use a fire chief for Roseville in uh, California. Okay, so you're on the California team? Yeah. He's been a Western chief in charge of use our program for us for years. Long time. Long time. Yeah. Long time. Long time. Long time. So much, so much so sometimes the metal inside the rebar and those kind of things just melts and it just makes it no good. There's no stability. Those will be the positives, and then we're going to have to wait for the tree. We will do, we're doing a, 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 a root stimulant. On it, but uh, and then we're just gonna. The, the tree's gonna tell us. What's the timeline to know whether a tree can thrive again? I probably say we we should be seeing some new sprouts yeah. generating within a hopefully within a four month, four to six month period. Okay. And, uh, and as soon as we start to see new sprouts coming out.
good news is. Hey. First morning out, or? This is our first morning. We did it a little bit last yesterday afternoon. build families will come together but there's a lot of loss here and I think uh, we're gonna see significantly higher numbers uh, in the coming days as our professionals from FEMA and, and Maui Fire Police do their job we're proud of them for doing their job it's very hard for them too because they knew and loved these neighbors what is your estimate on the cost of life uh, it's hard to know. We're going into the houses for the first time. There are already 80 fatalities. It's going to rise. It will certainly be the, the worst natural disaster Hawaii ever faced. It may be the worst fire that America ever faced by the time it's done. We can only wait and really support those who are living. Our focus now is to reunite people where we can and get them housing and get them health care and then turn to rebuilding. The world is watching, but what do you want the people of Maui to know, the community of Maui to know? Well, I'd like Maui to know how appreciative we are of them and their support of one another. I want them to know that we have the top leadership in America here, sent straight from President Biden's uh, cabinet. We want them to know that all the resources that can be had will be had for the people of Hawaii. And had quickly, uh, we have people already embedded that can make resources possible for our community. We, we do want people to know we're heartbroken that tragedy occurred here. We've had tragedies like this on the neighbor islands before, like in Hilo with the tsunami long ago. It's hard for communities that are this tight and this small to deal with this. So we want people to seek mental health care uh, if they're feeling desperate. You know, as I walked through here today with the governor, I, I think your words, it's heartbreaking, right, to see the tragedy. Um, but as the governor and I had talked on the way up here, and, and what he mentioned a little bit, is what we also see is just the true resilience of a community that comes together and how that bond will help them rise up from this horrible tragedy um, and uh, make this an even better place in the future. And so I want the people of Maui to know that Governor, we're going to be with you every step of the way throughout this response and this recovery.
Can we're, we're, FEMA be here for the response? Until the governor tells me I don't need to be. We are still very much in um, life-saving, life-sustaining, right? We have a number of people that have been displaced, and we want to make sure that we're getting them the support that they need. We want to find them what their uh, immediate lodging needs are going to be, but we also know people are hurting. And so we want to get them the mental health, as the governor mentioned, that they need as they're starting to process this. As we continue to move on, we have to make sure... Uh, was up and come with smoke inhalation and uh, he became unresponsive. Our fire. 